Teaching of another kind was taking place at Indian Lake State Park recently. At Rock the Lake, thousands gathered for inspiration in word, song, and much more. Jennifer has the story. It's a beautiful weekend in the middle of summer. What should we do? How about a quick trip to Indian Lake? But what could be even better? How about going to the lake and spreading the life-changing message of Jesus Christ? Welcome to Rock the Lake. So Rock the Lake got started because we have a sponsor, a friend of the station, they're RV wholesalers, they're here in Lakeview, Ohio, and they wanted to have a public event where Jesus Christ was was announced and celebrated. And so last year we got together and we started doing this just because that was their, their heart. And they said, we want this to happen right on the beach here in Indian Lake. August 6th and 7th marked year two for Rock the Lake, this year more than doubling the attendance from year one. An estimated more than 6,000 people traveled by car, air, motorcycle, and boat to corporately sing praises to Jesus. This is Old Field Beach transformed into a large arena reaching out to Christ. This is the greatest place to come out to. You can spend the whole day as a family. We had activities going on all day. And then they get to hear great music and we get to break down barriers of people saying, well, we don't like Christian music. Well, maybe you don't listen to the Christian music because listen to that. That is awesome, right? Four nationally known contemporary Christian bands lit up the stage for the 2016 Rock the Lake, but the event was more than just listening to music. It was engaging, interacting, coming together in prayer. After the meet and greet behind stage, this group of Rock the Lake workers and volunteers gathered with Crowder, who together prayed that God would move across the region in an amazing and real way. The weekend also included impacting speaking from Tom Henderson, a triathlon, art park, vendors, local musicians, and a church service. Funded primarily by RV wholesalers, the event was planned, promoted, and carried out by Shine FM, Christian Radio 88.5 and 88.9 housed in Bell Fountain, but reaching into 14 Ohio counties. An event like this falls right in line with the mission of Shine FM. There is absolutely no, no words I could express at how that is the goal, that is, that is the thing that we are here for, to, to save lives and to, to have them come to heaven with us, you know? This is why we do it. I mean, it's great about the music, it's great about the fun activities, but when we see those hands go up and people say, I'm making a decision for Christ, that is what it's all about. Rock the Lake 2017? Stay tuned to Shine FM in the months to come to find out more.